negara akan melaksanakan keterangan pers bersama. Romualdez Marcos Jr. and Madam Louise Marcos. The President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo and Madam Iriana Joko Widodo. The President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. and Madam Louise Marcos. Excellencies, Ministers and Distinguished Delegates from the Republic of Indonesia and the Republic of the Philippines. Welcome to Tratai Hall, Bogor Presidential Palace. We will now begin the presentation of Memorandum of Understanding between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines. First is Plan of Action between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines from 2022 to 2027. Presented by the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia, Her Excellency Mrs. Retno Marsudi, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Enrique Manalo. Thank you, Excellencies. Next is Memorandum of Understanding between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines on Cultural Cooperation, presented by the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia, Her Excellency Mrs. Retno Marsudi, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Enrique Manalo. Thank you, Excellencies. Next is agreement on cooperative activities in the field of defense and security between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines, presented by the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Prabowo Subianto, and the Senior Undersecretary of the Department of Defense of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Jose J. Faustino, Jr. Thank you, Excellencies. Next is Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation in the Development and Promotion of the Creative Economy between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines. Presented by the Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Sandiaga Uno, and the Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry of the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Alfredo E. Pasqual. Thank you, Excellencies, for presenting the MOU. Next is joint press statement by the President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo, and the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. We would like to invite President Joko Widodo to begin joint press statement. Yang Mulia, Presiden Marcos, beserta Ibu Negara, sungguh suatu kehormatan bagi Indonesia menerima kunjungan luar negeri pertama Presiden Marcos beserta delegasi. Dan baru saja kita membahas penguatan kerjasama bilateral di berbagai sektor, kerjasama kawasan dalam konteks ASEAN. Mengenai kerjasama bilateral, saya menyampaikan beberapa hal. Yang pertama, kita mendorong peningkatan volume 
perdagangan secara signifikan. Dibandingkan tahun lalu, perdagangan Indonesia Filipina sudah naik hampir 50 persen. Indonesia secara khusus mendorong peningkatan ekspor produk makanan dan minuman, farmasi serta produk kelapa dan rumput laut. Saya mengajak Filipina untuk terus mengembangkan potensi perdagangan dan juga konektivitas di wilayah perbatasan. Saya mengusulkan revitalisasi jalur kapal Roro, Bitung, Davao, dan membuka jalur penerbangan Manado, Davao. Yang kedua, peningkatan intensitas kerjasama infrastruktur dan industri strategis. Beberapa BUMN Indonesia sudah ikut serta dalam program pembangunan di Filipina, misalnya proyek pengadaan dua kapal landing platform dock oleh PT. PAL dan proyek persinyalan kereta di Manila oleh PT. LEN. Saya berharap agar rencana pembelian pesawat NC-212I dari PT. Dirgantara Indonesia dapat direalisasikan. Kedepan, saya ingin semakin banyak kesempatan bagi BUMN dan perusahaan swasta Indonesia mendukung pembangunan di Filipina. Yang ketiga, penguatan kerjasama perbatasan. Kita sepakat untuk meninjau kembali dua perjanjian pengamanan perbatasan agar terus relevan bagi masyarakat di perbatasan, yaitu Revised Border Crossing Agreement dan Border Patrol Agreement. Kita juga berkomitmen mempercepat perundingan delimitasi batas landas kontinen berdasarkan UNCLOS 1982. Keempat, di bidang pertahanan dan keamanan, kita mendorong penguatan kerjasama untuk keselamatan dan keamanan perairan di wilayah perbatasan. Saya sangat menghargai telah dilakukannya penandatanganan Agreement on Cooperative Activities in the Field of Defense and Security. Saya senang kita telah memperbarui Trilateral Cooperative Arrangement TCA antara Indonesia, Filipina, dan Malaysia karena sangat penting dalam mengamankan jalur perairan dari ancaman penyanderaan dan penculikan. Kelima, kita juga membahas kerjasama kawasan, bagaimana memperkokoh ASEAN dan implementasi dari ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Saya tekankan mengenai pentingnya memperkokoh sentralitas dan kesatuan ASEAN. Indonesia ingin memastikan agar ASEAN terus menjadi lokomotif stabilitas, perdamaian dan kemakmuran kawasan. ASEAN harus mampu mengatasi berbagai tantangan ke depan dan memperkokoh penghormatan terhadap piagam ASEAN. Dan untuk memperkuat sentralitas ASEAN, saya menggarisbawahi pentingnya implementasi ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific melalui kerjasama yang konkret dan inklusif. Dalam konteks ini, Indonesia akan mengadakan Indo-Pacific Infrastructure Forum di tahun depan. Saya juga mengapresiasi Komitmen Filipina untuk mendukung penuh keketuaan Indonesia di ASEAN tahun 2023. Selanjutnya dengan hormat saya mengundang Presiden Marcos untuk menyampaikan pernyataannya. Saya persilahkan. Terima kasih. Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Widodo, Madam First Lady, and members of uh, uh, the ministers who are here today. Uh, the, as uh, is uh, proper for the times that we face today. Our, our discussions uh, began as a recognition of the long relationship that the Philippines and Indonesia have had. So long that uh, in two years' time, we are celebrating the 75th year of our diplomatic relations. Although our relations uh, go much further than that, because we consider Indonesians not only a neighbor, not only a friend, but kin. And for that, and on that basis, uh, we spoke about uh, the difficulties that we, uh, we as members of ASEAN face uh, uh, after the pandemic. And this is, uh, this is why trade is such an important part of what we uh, spoke and what we have agreed upon uh, in today's discussions. We continue to uh, thank Indonesia for the assistances and, the, and their, in, their involvement in uh, the infrastructure programs of my predecessor, President Duterte, uh, and their continuing commitment, uh, not only to uh, uh, go on and uh, with these uh, programs, but to increase the volume and uh, the closeness between our two countries. 
We also spoke uh, at length about the role that uh, we believe ASEAN should play while we face the difficulties in this very volatile time in geopolitics, not only in our region, but also in the rest of the world. And uh, we agreed that uh, ASEAN is going to be the lead agent in uh, the changes that uh, we would like to see in continuing to bring peace to our countries. And again, the assistances that we have received from uh, Indonesia have been a very important part of that. We continue to work uh, on growing our relationship to making it stronger. So much so that in actual fact, our discussions uh, progressed so rapidly that we, the President uh, and I, have agreed to organize task forces already to uh, meet and discuss, even at the technical level, no longer at the political or the diplomatic level, but at the technical level, uh, so, as we can, so as to be able to uh, take a full advantage of the opportunities that we feel uh, uh, that are available to us and that we will need to exploit to succeed in the near future. It, uh, I expressed uh, my belief to President uh, Widodo that um, this, this uh, partnerships, this partnership between Indonesia, but the partner between Indonesia and the Philippines, but the, these partnerships that we make with all our partners and allies and friends around the world will be of critical importance so that we remain stable as we grow out of the pandemic economy. And uh, we work together and uh, help each other uh, to develop uh, regional peace and uh, regional development. And for that, I thank uh, once again the uh, President for his very kind invitation. I believe that we have made the proper choice in coming to Jakarta as my first state visit and in my, as, my, as President of the Philippines. And I believe that this is only the beginning of many more things to come between Indonesia and the Philippines. Once again, I thank the President, Madam First Lady. I also thank the Indonesian people for their openness and their warmth as they welcomed us since we have arrived here. Thank you very much. Thank you. End of joint press statement, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo and Madam Iriana Joko Widodo, and the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. and Madam Luis Marcos, please now proceed to Garuda Hall for state luncheon, followed by the member of the official delegations. Uh, we, as you have mentioned, we had a very uh, fruitful discussion. Uh, uh, just now, with uh, our quick tete-a-tete. Uh, -tete. It is significant that uh, I chose Indonesia, Jakarta, to be my first visit uh, of my presidency. For, because uh, for there's uh, many reasons, and uh, one of those is that uh, we are such, we are close in terms of not only geographical location, but we are close in terms of culture, we are close in terms of ethnicity. Um, and I think that it is going to be the strong partnerships that we will make as we slowly come out of the pandemic economy uh, is what is going to lead us to success. And that is why we go once again to our friends and uh, to our partners uh, around the world, especially in the region, uh, in uh, especially uh, I've put, uh, together with what we spoke about the ASEAN member countries and the common uh, the common uh, concerns that uh, we share. Uh, so again, it's those partnerships I believe uh, that uh, will keep the stability of uh, all of our plans and what we are hoping to do in the next few years. And uh, but I would like to thank. Uh, uh, Mr. Your, your uh, government and you, Mr. President, for your kind invitation. And I think, uh, although uh, it is the first time I have been to Jakarta, uh, we look around and it feels like home. Mm -hmm. uh, 
only because you are so warm, you have, uh, you have welcomed us so warmly, and uh, we have felt uh, the willingness of, uh, uh, of Indonesia to go into partnership with the Philippines and to strengthen the partnership that we are going to celebrate the 75th year in two years' time. And I think it is one of the longest uh, that uh, uh, diplomatic relations. In fact, we have had relationships before we had countries. Indonesia and the Philippines were trading, exchanging our family members, going back and forth from uh, our southern islands to Indonesia uh, for thousands of years. And so that's why it, is a nat it was very natural for us in the Philippines to come. And I think we made the right choice and we thank you once again for the openness with which you have received us and the openness with which the willingness that we, you have shown to uh, strengthen that relationship between the Philippines and Indonesia, which is our hope and it is what we are going to be working for. Thank you, Mr. President. Terima kasih yang suatu kehormatan menerima kunjungan luar negeri yang pertama yang mulia. Ini menegaskan hubungan bilateral kedua negara di bawah kepemimpinan yang mulia. Saya percaya hubungan kedua negara Indonesia dan e, Filipina akan semakin erat. Dan saya ingin menyampaikan juga duka cita atas wafatnya mantan Presiden Filipina ke-12 yang mulia Bapak Fede Ramos bulan Juli yang lalu. Melanjutkan pertemuan empat mata tadi, saya ingin membahas kerjasama bilateral dan kawasan. Sebelumnya saya persilahkan Presiden Marcos untuk menyampaikan sambutan pembuka. Uh, thank you, Mr. President.